Energy Association, we were able to join others such as the Green Economy Group, the City of Fayetteville, and the Sierra Club in very worthy efforts that have the aim of reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. The Energy Jobs and the Economy Workshops were designed especially for state legislators and candidates of the legislature to prepare them, these policy makers, for the 2013 session with the information that they need to understand the potential for Arkansas to not only catch up with other states, but become a leader in sectors of the advanced energy market. Four of these workshops, which came to be known as EJE, were conducted around the state, including Bentonville, North Little Rock, West Memphis, and Arkadelphia, giving policymakers as much opportunity to attend as possible given their busy campaign schedules. So close to 50 legislators and candidates attended these workshops, learning directly from Arkansas business owners about the hiring potential for living wage jobs in retrofitting, installing solar, manufacturing wind turbines, constructing and running biomass plants, which Arkansas has a lot of opportunity for, growing feedstock for biofuels, and etc. just to name a few of the jobs that we can create in our state. They were also educated about policy tools, which have been mentioned here already, that can be employed to further the advanced energy sector. This was a nonpartisan effort, and all of the workshops were attended by both Democrats and Republicans. There was a survey conducted, and both Republicans and Democrats gave high scores to indicate that they felt that the workshops helped improve dialogue, or could have helped to improve dialogue in the 2013 session relative to advanced energy. In the coming months, we're going to track the policymakers elected who attended to see if these efforts had real influence on policy development that can support clean energy in Arkansas. So all of these rather like-minded organizations like the Interfaith Power Line, the Green Economy Group, Sierra Club, the Applied Sustainability Center, and forward-thinking businesses like Silicon Solar Solutions, as well as a sustainable food movement like organizations like Tricycle Farm that provided our bouquet tonight, Seeds That Feed and Feed Fayetteville are part of a broader worldwide movement that happens at the local level. The, sustainable, the sustainability movement is about caring for life and playing fair. Together, we are co-creating a new benevolent culture with reconnection to our natural world and to each other so that we can live and live well not with a focus on consumerism, but on community. So thank you, Sierra Club, for providing this town hall tonight, and we welcome Lev Gator and Katie to our Northwest Arkansas community. And now everybody else is going to get a chance to say what they think. <laughs>